Well, the city of El Paso was trying to figure out ways on how to best save the popular northwest land known as the Lost Dog Trail area. KTSM 9 News reporter Tatiana Favela is live to explain what options the city is looking at. After winning almost 90% of the vote to save the Lost Dog Trail area, the city is now looking at its options to make sure that it's preserved forever. We took another step in the right direction in terms of fulfilling the will of the voters. In efforts of continuing to save the Lost Dog Trail and Tears 12 land, the city of El Paso is exploring its options to a conservation easement to further secure protection of the land. That's what different governments, that's what different property owners, that's what different landowners use to make sure that their land is used in the way that they see fit. And with the 90% of voters that voted to approve this land to save it as natural open space forever, a conservation easement really is the most appropriate tool that we have to explore um, to make sure that that's, that's kept and that promise is kept to the voters. A land conservation easement could come up with some unknown fees. However, there are options for funding. At this point, we're not really sure what the costs are, but it does sound like there, there are opportunities to take advantage of grants and donations and those kinds of things as well. City Council will also be looking at using the 10% dual purpose stormwater and open space funds, along with looking at steps on how to dissolve Tiers 12. I think it's more of a symbolic um, thing and it just, it just, you know, shows that the city is really committed to what the voters asked for, which was permanent preservation of the land. The city says the land is valued at $11.3 million from an appraisal done back in December of 2017. However, land preservationists say costs should be re-evaluated. You need a current assessment, a current appraisal on the land to make a a, a vetted um, dispersal of funds. And City Council will be discussing these recommendations within the next 90 days for further action. For now, live in Northwest El Paso, Tatiana Favela, KTSM 9 News.